So as you can tell by the title, I have bought a colony of Dubia roaches. I decided to use this plastic box as a house. It's about two or three foot long. You can actually keep the roaches in a tub without a lid as they can't actually walk up flat surfaces. However, since I have a cat, I have decided to use a lid and drill some holes in it for ventilation. When I first got the roaches, I was still waiting for some cardboard egg trays to arrive, so I used a mix of cardboard tubes for hides, which worked pretty well. But now I have the egg trays, I'll be moving them in. As for the roaches, I got approximately 150 nymphs, 3 adult males and 9 adult females from Cheapest Bugs UK. I believe you can find them on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you're going to start a colony of your own, you're going to want more females than males. The adults won't actually be fed to my leopard geckos. Firstly, they're actually surprisingly big and strong. And secondly, they're responsible for producing the next generation, so I do not want to kill them off. As you can see here, I'm adding the egg trays in whilst removing the roaches from the tubes. This is a female roach. As you can see, she doesn't have wings. And this is a male roach because he does actually have wings. Now don't worry, they cannot fly. You want to position the trays vertically, as this will actually make them last longer. Basically, the roaches will go to the loo and sometimes the nymphs will eat it. So if you have them horizontally, eventually the cardboard would wear away quite quickly. Whereas if you position them like this, it lasts a lot longer as the poop pretty much drops to the bottom. Food wise, I have crushed up a Weetabix and mixed it with bug grub flakes. And for moisture, I have added some orange pieces and grapes. My room is quite warm at the moment, so although I do have a heat mat underneath the tank, I'm only going to put it on if it's particularly cold. Heating can actually help encourage your roaches to breed. I need to find something to go around the tank to keep it dark, but for now I'm actually using this blanket to go over the egg tray area. Basically, roaches actually prefer dark environments. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any tips for me regarding dubia roach colonies, please let me know. Put them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Leopard Gecko Talk on dubia roaches.